Oh, good morning, folks. How are you guys doing today? Welcome back in well, to the, the future winery on No Man's Land. Let me just get a, a cup of coffee in here, a cup of joe quickly. You know, we got lots of stuff to take care of. In fact, it's not looking so good right now. I mean, look at that forecast. Down to the 40s, things are starting to get pretty cold. We're into, we're into fall, folks, and I mean, it, it's starting to get pretty chilly out there. It's all good. I got some things to show you. We got a couple of cool things. Well, one big thing. I got a brand new shop here. Let me just grab some coffee here quickly, and... uh well, I'll go show you what we got. It's, it's good. You're going to want to see this. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot. Um, like I said, we got a brand new shop. I We needed to get stuff ready for lockup, guys. It's 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 almost winter time. We need to make sure we're good to go for the winter. In fact, well, you can, you can see the, the green monstrosity out there. Look at that thing. It's huge. She's huge there, bye. Go away. It's huge. Where my dog went? Where's the pups? Where'd he go? I haven't seen him for like days. He was out swimming in the lake earlier. It was kind of funny. I, I should have I should taken a picture for you guys, but uh, he's gone now. I wonder where he went to. Huh. Anyways, let's head over to the shop. Get the old power wagon up and running. There we go. Nice. All right. So, like I said, a brand new shop building. Uh, it's it's going to be good for the winter. You guys know we didn't have a heck of a lot on this farm. So, it's about time we got that taken care of. Got a brand new shop built. Should be able to use it for storage, well, for stuff from our greenhouse, as well as our equipment. It's heated. Good to go. I'll show you guys around it here right away in a minute. Farm dog, what are you doing? What are you doing, pops? What, what's going on? You're, you're you're walking in circles. All right. Um, you good? I throw a stick for you, but um, I got stuff to do. Here you go. Have, have a quick pet. There you go, buddy. All right. I'll see you in a bit. You stay out of the lake. It's getting cold out. You stay out of there. Hey, and while we're cruising this way, guys, make sure. Uh, you know what? If you're new around here, make sure you guys subscribe. Of course, welcoming new subscribers. Good to have you guys in here. We've had an influx of new peeps around here. So cheers to you guys. Welcome into the channel. Hope you guys enjoy the content. But uh, maybe stop by a live stream. Come say hi one of these nights. Anyways, here we go. New shop. Look at this thing. She's a monstrous. What is a monstrous, Clutch? She's monstrous? Get, get your vocabulary right. Where'd you learn to speak the English, Tony? Uh, in a school. <laughs> Let's go on to the side here. We've got three bays plus, well, an open kind of... Carport side, I suppose. Lights are all on timers, so they'll come in on night. Basically, this whole side right here. I'm not quite sure. I haven't decided how I'm going to store everything in here yet. Like I said, we're building for the future, guys. we got a big winery we want to build. Well, a great production area up on the hillside, that direction. You can't see it from here, of course. But on the far side, that's what we want to get started with. So, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do with all this stuff. i got to bring stuff down from, well, the town. we got a bunch of grape equipment that uh, we'll have to bring down sooner than later. But this is actually going to be a pretty good storage building for all of this. Um, what is this? A door for like what's this? What's with the door? It's it's she tiny. I got a duck. Hang on a second. Let me just squeeze in here. Can I just squeeze through? There we go. There we go. Um, I, I'm just really tall. That's that's all. What is this? A center for ants! So, yeah, here's the, the main bay. We'll open this door on up. So, there we go. Yeah, the main bay for storage. We could fit pretty much anything we need in here, guys. Lots of room. Lots of room for storage. Tons of space in here. Look at all this floor space. So much with aerobics in here. So many activities. And then once we leave, come back next door. We have a one more single bay here. Let me go oh, crawl through the door again. Come on. Get through the... Oh, I'm just too tall. It's, I'm too tall. I can't fit through this door. Ugh, get me through the door. All right, if I crawl through backwards, then I can kind of fit through. Uh, I think I might have, um, should be the foundation a little bit taller. Like, you can see the foundation's only to there, then it's the tin walls and roof. If I went a little higher, maybe we could have made the door bigger? I don't know. It's a, she's a little, she's a little tight. She's a little tight. But yeah, this is our, our mechanic shop in here. I was getting sick and tired of uh, working on my equipment out in the cold, freezing my hands off. Nothing worse than working underneath any kind of equipment when uh, she gets cold out, guys, I swear. That's like one of the worst things ever. So a nice heated shop now. We got heated storage beside us and then that carport on the outside. So as for our equipment storage, it's all just case stuff. We have a couple case tractors and that car case combine down there. Plus, along with, um, well, a couple of just planters, plows, you know, nothing crazy. We do have some bigger equipment on lease. We got the new Holland over there, of course, that we're using for uh, loading lime. Got that flat deck truck we purchased the other day. And, of course, that lime spreader, fertilizer spreader. Speaking of which, I do need to get fertilizing. And, well, that's going to be one thing we're taking care of today. I've got a plan for fertilizing. The canola is ready to be fertilized. At least I've been told, you know what, before we get winter here, before we get snow on the ground, we want to get some fertilizer sprayed onto this field. So, 
I got something coming today. But before we do that, let's maybe move some of the stuff out of this old shop. I'd love to tear this all down, especially like Gertie's cabin there. No one, no one wants that. So let's move some of this stuff out of this area. I don't really need to have it down here. I can get it closer to the main shop now and actually do some maintenance on it. Like this is our, our maintenance hut right here is what we've been using to, to work on all our equipment. Such a pain, such a pain. Yeah, there's nothing worse in the winter than trying to fire up one of your pieces of equipment and uh, she's a bit too cold and then she won't start. And then fighting for the whole day just to get this, this silly thing started, especially like this old case here, the 1455. Even the old combine, I mean, we're not going to be using that this year, so we might as well put it away in storage, of course. I got, I don't even know what's going on back here. Everything kind of got jammed back here at one point in time when we were trying to hide stuff from a hailstorm. Everything's going to kind of push back in here, but let's go take the case over with the 1455. We'll fire this thing on up. We'll get the combine over there as well. We'll hide everything in that shop for now. Keep it all nice and toasty and warm. And hopefully, um, well, what I got planned for fertilizing is here any minute. Look at all the space we got in here. Well, I mean, it's only two tractors and a harvester. That's fine. The combine's got lots of space. Perfect. This is great. This is going to work out just great. Got everything in here already. We're, we're almost ready for winter. Almost. Oh, speaking of which, just what we've been waiting for. The sprayer I ordered, guys. Like I said, I needed to spray this stuff before winter sets in here. Let's see if he goes and maybe pulls us around down the far side. We got a sprayer with sprayer deck. Look at that. That's awesome. Ready to rock. Wow. Hardy sprayer. That thing's, look at how look at how big this thing is on this deck. Uh, it was a long trip to get it out here, guys. It's a, it's a couple hundred miles just to get it out here. So I, I needed to bring out that. The fertilizer as well. They got a full tank of fertilizer on there. I'm actually the one going to be doing the spraying, it looks like, today. So um, I'm going to have to deal with that. But uh, let's fill, fill this thing up first. Uh, let me send off the driver here. All right, dude, you're, you're good. You can just go by the house and take that. I'll, I'll take this off here. You're good. Um, looks like we're, we should be all good, guys. We'll let him go. He can go back to the house and hang out for a bit. It's going to take me a couple hours to take care of this. All right, we got the the lift deck is down. I've got this thing fired up. We should be able to just just back it off, right? We just straight back it off. Let, let's go. Nice and easy. N nice, and, nice and easy. All right. Seems like it's going to work out okay. All right, let's go uh, pull beside. We'll fire that pump up and uh, we'll fill this thing full of fertilizer right alongside. Cool, we're full. Let me shut this pump off and uh, let's get into this field, guys. We should be should be good. This is going to take us a little bit. We got some big fields out here. We'll see. Hopefully, we get a little bit of cash off this because, like I said, I want to move into this winery by next, next spring, I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. All right, let's pull alongside. We're going to start right in front of Gertie's place here. Uh, let's see if we can how big is the spread on this let's open the uh let's open this thing on up there we go we'll set our levels up so that uh we're not overdoing this Look, it should be should be all right i think we can fit all the way through there right it's a pretty long spread on this though i want to make sure we don't hit any rocks i don't want to damage this thing i don't really need any extra charges right now gps is set let's turn it on all right away we go all right, we'll have to turn sprayer control on as we get close to these rocks down here and uh, just make mosey our way around all this stuff. On this side, it's going to be a little bit tight. We'll be able to open it up a little bit more as we get to the far side. Should probably lower this down a little bit, actually. I just realized how high this was. This is a pretty low, low crop. We don't have corn or anything like that. It's pretty low. All right, bring it around. All right, now we should be able to open it up. It gets nice and wide and open down here. I did not set the GPS for this far side, mind you, so... Um, that's something I need to worry about. Oh, watch that far side. Let's get that head up a little bit. Oh, boy. Don't want to drag the, the nozzles in the ground. Nothing like clogging your nozzles with dirt, right? Now, we could keep on going down there and just keep on going around that other farm field. It's only going to take us, like, another couple passes in here to finish off this. Then we can get down in that back field and go all the way around. All right, next pass. Um, I think this might be overkill. This sprayer, I asked for the biggest one they got, thinking that they wouldn't have anything that's this size. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is overkill. <laughs> this is overkill. It's like three three passes and I'm done this whole field. Really, it's going to be a lot faster than I thought. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll save on the trucking charges. Yeah, already last pass. I'm trying to make sure we stay nice and close and tight to this little island in here now. And uh, that's going to do it for this field already. Like literally 20 minutes, 15 minutes. That's it. I was expecting to be in here for like an hour. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, we're done. That's all there is to it, guys. Let's go ahead and right across past the shop. Well, the farm dog ain't uh, swimming no more, but he's out. He's out in the middle of the field now, and I'm spraying. Uh, come on, buddy. We, we can't we can't have you doing that. This is just going to cause me so, so many issues. Get out of the field. Go back home. G get out of there. Yeah, we're going to have to stop. He's he's not going to let me pass, is he? He's, he's definitely not going to let me go by. I'm not going to spray my dog. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Dude, what are you doing? No, no, no. Don't come closer. All right. Get, up to here. Let's shut this down. Ah, 
Really, man? Let me get over there. Come, come, come with me. No, no, no. Come with me. No. Silly dog. Yeah, I know. I know you want to play, but we don't got time for this. Come on. Come back to the farm. Come on back to the farm. Come back to your home. He listens about as good as some other people I know. Um, maybe I put some food in his bowl? Well, maybe he'll come now? Are you coming? Oh, look at Here he comes. That should keep him over here at least for a little while, right? Put a little bit of food in there. Should be good. Oh, here he comes. All right, buddy. You stay here for now, please. Please? Yeah, it's amazing how fast you can actually do a field when uh, you don't have a dog in your way. <laughs> all right. Almost done this one already, guys. It's going to be like an hour and we're going to be done this all this stuff. That's ridiculous. Um, I guess I could have gone with a lot smaller sprayer. Maybe just even a backpack for one of our tractors would have been more than sufficient. But I mean, when you get the chance to use something like this, it's always fun to use it, right? You get a chance to get into a big sprayer. Really uh, push it to the limits. It's all good. And you know what? We've got an awesome little truck tractor here. We can pull behind with, with a sprayer deck on it. The accessory deck so we can load it right in the field as we needed to. I mean, I could pull this right out in the field if I needed to, which would be fantastic. Don't need to use it today for that. But uh, just to come back to the farm here and refill, since I don't have refill at, this, at the farm itself, this actually works out really well for us. Take this back to the shop if we needed to, which we're not going to need to today, mind you. We're pretty good here. This is a pretty awesome little deck. Nice big open flat deck on the back for us to load up on. You can take this anywhere you need to. It's perfect. Back filled up. Let's head back out to that field. Guys, it's looking good. We got one more field left to do. That's it. We got two of the fields done. Two of the three. You know what? Let's just sneak through past the little irrigation canal we made the other day. And uh, we'll get back to spraying. Oh, look at all that. You know what? I, I didn't find anything but, but lime. Nothing but lime with all that stone so far. I've kind of given up on it. Uh, the mine's still way back there, but... This is not turning out so good for us. Yeah, we still got some high hopes for the mine, guys. But right now, all we're finding is lime in the uh, the stones around our neck of the wood. So hopefully, we uh, we hit some some luck up on the hills there. We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. I haven't talked to Four B Gaming about that. We'll see what Lane says. Maybe he's found something. Who knows? All right, there we go. Turn this back on. Let's go. Once again, this is only going to take us twenty minutes, fifteen minutes. No time at all. So I may complain that I might have overdone things, but at the same time, I'm happy to overdo things. Let's be honest. This is this is the easy way of doing it. Way easier than well, anything else we possibly could have done. Perfect. Well, I'm going to finish off this field, guys. We'll go check in on the truck rate driver. Make sure he's the, the operator. He's good there. He should be back on his way. This is like a, a super quick job for him by the looks of things, which is fantastic for me. I'll save a little bit of cash there. Uh, make sure the dog's not back in the lake as well. But of course, if you guys are looking for the shop we showed off a little bit earlier, the new shop we got here it should be coming out public at some point here soon. That's a Lancy Boy shop. Hopefully we see that public very, very soon. I know it's going through testing at some point in time here. I believe it was been submitted to Giant. So hopefully you guys see that very, very soon. But a very cool shop done by Lancy Boy. Hopefully public soon enough. Other than that, folks, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, if you want to check out maybe how we built the canal, we've got the little canal that's back there. We go check out the video we posted on that just a few days back. Put that in the card beside us here. So if you guys want to go check out how that was made, how we dug that canal and how much fun that was, go check that one out there so you don't miss anything that's going on here in No Man's Land. And that, folks, have a great day, and we'll catch you next time. This is Clutch. Spray this field. Over and out. Oh, we've already done this part. Let's go over this way. Yeah, that's better.